Apostle, I'm struggling with sickness. Go to that which is written. Open your Bible. Find out. There were sick people in the Bible who were healed. What did they do? This world is not designed for spirits. It's a three-dimensional framework of existence. Three-dimensional entity. So in case a spirit has jurisdiction within this context, a man permitted that spirit to function. In fact, prayer is earthly permission for heavenly interference. You can change the situation of your life. Your influence is at the mercy of the revelation of the word that you have. There are many doors that have been waiting, waiting for you to turn the key. Listen to me. Hear me. Businessmen, if all you do in your shop or your store or your organization is buying and selling, except you, you bring in a charm to help you, you will not rise that way. There are times you need to lock your office, remove your suit, wear your priestly regalia. As the CEO in this company, you are not only coordinating sales from overseas. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I stand as a priest and as a king. According to James 2 and verse 26, that a body without a spirit is dead. I activate the spirit of this business. Business, you are a body. The spirit component that keeps you alive, I call it by faith. You see, unbelievers know what I'm teaching you. They do it all the time. We laugh at them yet cannot deny the results. There are many unbelievers, including businessmen, politicians. They never take any risk without consulting the realm of the spirit. No matter how simple the situation is. Don't go out of your house without speaking to your day. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Don't say, I'm in a hurry. I didn't have time. You don't, you can be baffling and speaking. In the name of Jesus, I declare. This is the day that the Lord has made. I declare that my steps are ordered. For the Bible declares that the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. No confusion and chaos. By the spirit of the living God. Souls are saved through my life today. Lives are transformed through my life today. I am a soul winner. The blessings of a soul winner comes upon me. According to Daniel 12 and verse 3, it says, And they that be wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness will shine as the stars even forever. Since I invest my life turning many to righteousness, I must shine like the star and nothing will stop that rising. Let's go back now to 2 Peter 1 and verse 4. Whereby, 1 Peter 1 and verse 4, my apologies. Okay, yes, no, you're right. Go back to KJV, please. It says, whereby are given to us these great and exceeding precious promises. Now you understand. Are given to us, Joshua Selman, don't say I don't have anything. Here's what happens many times in our homes. You have your Bible somewhere, but because your ATM is empty, because your pot is empty, because everything is empty, you forget this and you say I have nothing. You are making the mistake of the wife of the sons of the prophet. Her whole house had nothing, but there was a little cruise. And that cruise was saying, if you know what to do with me, I can turn you from a pauper to a blessed woman. Your being a widow is not the reason why you are where you are. When she met the prophet, the prophet said, there is a responsibility component I need to introduce to you. He says, what do you have in your house? She said, nothing. For someone, what do you have in your house? No job except a Bible. What do you have in your house? Nothing except an audio material with 10 scriptures that talk about my victory in Christ. What do you have in your house? I do not even have any serious thing except a little phone that has limited um, memory, that has three or four scripture. And the prophet said, what you have is enough. Go and lock your door. 
this is what I'm telling you prophetically. Go and lock your door this week. You have been running around people. Everybody knows what is wrong with you because we find pride in attracting sympathy. Everybody, yeah, are you watching? No, shut the door. Rakatoskiata. By the time you shut the door, three hours in the spirit, and you are speaking prophetically, God will wake many people. Arise for the sake of my sent one. Arise for the sake of my daughter. Arise for the sake of my son. Listen to me. From tonight, I want you to make a covenant with God that your approach to any and all matters of your life must be a word-based approach. Say after me, word-based approach. One more time, say word-based approach. Your approach to a financial situation, word-based approach. That means until you have found what the word says, don't act. Don't act, no matter the pressure, remain there. You are about to start a business. What gives you the guarantee that you will succeed? I got some capital. You are already in, you are already in deception. Capital is not what it takes to excel in business. It is not only clients you have. You have wicked spirits that fight the purposes of God. There is the king of Tyre and Sidon. Go and find out. He sits upon a mountain. There is Jezebel. The she goddess that rides upon the horse and prides herself drinking the blood of the Matthias. It takes more than buying and selling to excel. There is a mountain where you climb your commodities, your soul. Except you are ready to sell your soul. There are levels in life that you can never attain unto. He said, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world? Many people have sold their soul to the devil because they are looking for mundane things but he said i wish above all things that ye may prosper and be in health but ensure that while you are in health that your soul also prospers hallelujah i'm not a prayer warrior become one now i'm not really this word people please change those kinds of things Give yourself a new orientation. The way I was brought up, we just prayed a five minutes prayer. No problem. Thank God for those who led you thus far. It's their leadership that brought you here. Now that you are here, open your Bible. Wake up in the night. Walk around your house. In the name of Jesus, I declare all that the Lord has given me is blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus, shame and reproach is far from me. 2023, in the name of Jesus Christ, you must open up to me. Every month is a door. Every day is a door. Every minute is a door. I speak to you, a father, be open unto me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Negative things happen around your life. You can respond emotionally. You can respond culturally. You can respond scripturally. I give you my recommendation based on the integrity of the word. Every other formula will eventually fail, but the word will stand. Word-based approach. Apostle, right now I am in debt to the millions and to the billions. What am I going to do? Stop where you are. If you find yourself in a well, stop digging. Because if you keep digging, you will keep going down. Stop where you are, number one. Number two, go and study all the people who were owing in the Bible. How did they come out? Every time you see an issue of debt and finances, it was the prophetic that brought them out. Whether it was the axe head that fell, the prophetic that brought them out. Out. The, the wife of the sons of the prophet, the prophetic that brought them out. The next thing is to begin to engage in prayer. Lord, grant me direction. What anointing has been allocated for my rising? Because it's not every prophetic grace that lifts you. There were many widows in Zarephath, but to none was Elijah sent. There were some widows that were waiting for Elisha. There were some widows that were waiting for other prophets. He went to one widow and left. Is someone learning? The devil has vowed that you will never have an honorable job. 
if you agree with him and say amen it will be so but you can change the narrative in the name of Jesus Christ things are not working for you Lord I take responsibility grant me grace it's not always about the devil sometimes it is the bankruptcy of wisdom listen if you want God to help you you must take responsibility in your life show me what I am doing wrong that is making me always fight with my wife Lord it is not your will that we keep beating ourselves in front of the children there is something we do not know and I am ready to learn if it is a wrong training or wrong mentorship I take responsibility because pride goes before a fall the moment you bow down knowledge comes to you immediately God can send you to one 15 minutes clip online and that becomes your deliverance Can I tell you, you don't get results in pride and with pride. This is a disclaimer I must give you before we begin to pray. There are many people who are too big to be helped by God. It takes humility. I come to you, O oh God, even if you are in ignorance, come to him. Lord, this situation in this family, I cannot pay the school fees of my children right now. And I've done my best. I'm walking in righteousness. Lord, I pray that you will help me. And because your heart is humble, the Bible says the Lord is nigh them who are of a broken and a contrite heart, Psalm 51. When you cry before him with a broken and a contrite heart, he comes to help you. Can we take a few minutes to pray? Do you believe in prayer? Please, no movement around. We are going to pray. Enough is enough. This is the year that God is stretching you and opening some doors. I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to pray concerning the areas of your life where you know that the word of God has not yet prevailed. Please open up your mouth and pray. The Bible says so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. When the word of God grows, it always prevails. When the word of God grows, it always prevails. Someone is praying. This year, doors must be opened in the name of Jesus. Shaprakatoske de brende ke barakatos kaligata, embraka barakatos ke frete ke bereketas, ke frontas ke berendo shoto brege de belegeta. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus. Exceeding great and precious promises concerning my life concerning my destiny concerning the purposes of the kingdom someone pray those who are following online make sure you pray make sure you pray Are you praying? Shapragate beleketa prando kaparota skia. Access to the exceeding great and precious promises that by these we might be the partakers of His divine nature. That by these we might be the partakers of His divine nature. in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now I want you to concentrate on the area that does not seem to work don't pray prayers of unbelievers Lord what is it except if you are praying an inquiry prayer otherwise the scripture you know place it there why is this not working lord your word says this i engage i engage with understanding some of you is because you have not engaged with understanding open up your mouth and begin to cry to heaven that area you want god to visit you in go ahead and pray this threat of death over my life the bible declares that i shall not die but live and declare the works of the lord death you have no power over my life in the name of Jesus Christ, recurrent illnesses, I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, for he gives me health and cure. 
in the name of Jesus Christ God has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind in the name of Jesus Christ your path is as a shining light that shines more and more more and more more and more even unto the perfect day in the name of Jesus Christ I arise and I shine I arise and I shine my light is come the glory of the Lord is risen upon me in the name of Jesus I declare that I am a blessing a blessing to the nations according to Genesis chapter 12 and verse 3 that in me and through me the families of earth are blessed I declare in the name of Jesus from Europe to America from Canada to Africa and all the 30 states of this nation you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ I'm delivered from six things yeah even seven things in famine I laugh I'm delivered from the scourging tongues of men in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thou will show me the path of life for in your light I see light 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 turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev in the name of Jesus Christ one more minute go ahead and declare declare over your ministry declare over your family declare over your job declare over your assignment that in the name of Jesus Christ the Word of God grows mightily and it prevails it grows mightily and it prevails it grows mightily and it prevails Hallelujah. Hallelujah.